What's up, everyone? Happy Tuesday. I'm coming to you live from the beach over at Bay Park. And it's uh, balmy today, 37 degrees, just like summer. Uh, much better than the uh, 20s and teens that we've had. And uh, no snow today. But uh, I love this light, the way it reflects on the water. Look at the uh, reflections there, it's pretty cool. So we're down here on the beach, just did uh, five miles and uh, we uh, haven't been down here in a while, so I want to come down to the water. The water's a happy place for me. And uh, right here, the boat ramp over here, a little dock stuff, so all the boats are out of the water for the winter. But um, yeah, so it's a fun place to go. So we gotta bring you message of the day. And I was listening to a podcast this morning, I was Pastor Rick. Uh, he was explaining that um, this whole world is God's creation and that we are managers for God. God puts us in management positions to manage um, his assets, we'll call it. Um, manage the people, manage uh, the money, manage the time. And basically he entrusts us to properly manage our money to properly manage our time to properly manage uh, the people in our lives and that really in essence it's a test um, to see how we do and the better we do the more we get the better managers we are the more we get um, kind of an interesting concept to think about so if God put us here to manage time and manage money uh, how good are you at managing your time and managing your money um, they talked about um, we're supposed to love people and use money. And a lot of people get that backwards. A lot of people uh, love money and use people to get more money. Um, but in the Bible, it actually says we have to love people and use money. And what can we use money for? We can use money to save time. And that's a big thing that uh, we talk about in the entrepreneurial world. What can you use money for to save time? Because you can always get more money but you can't get more time. So if you think about your life, where are you wasting money? Where are you wasting time? Um, because if you look at where you spend your time and money, uh, that's what's important to you. So if you uh, spend a bunch of money at the bar, um, drowned in your sorrows, obviously that's not proper management of money and that's not uh, proper management of time. Um, what do you focus your money and time on? And is that something that is honorable? Uh, do you focus your time and money on your kids? Do you focus your time and money on your spouse? Um, do you focus time and money on building your business so that you can create more money to uh, do more things? Because uh, money is a multiplier. If uh, you're someone that gives to charity and you get money, you're gonna give more to charity. If you're a drug addict, and you get more money, you're gonna do more drugs. It's a multiplier. So think about that, think about that. So God is challenging us every day as managers to manage his assets. So if we are managing God's assets, and you know, typically as a manager, uh, the better you do, the more responsibilities you get, the more assets you get to manage. So if you're not doing a good job as a manager, don't expect God to give you more assets to manage. I think about that, think about that. If you're not doing a good job as a manager, how can you expect God to give you more assets to manage? So that comes to money, that comes to relationships, that comes to whatever is missing in your life. Think about what you're doing, thinking about how you're managing God's assets and uh, reality check. And uh, be a better manager, do a better job, and God will give you more assets to manage. That's a pretty cool concept. So, there's your message of the day. Are you a good manager? Um, do you love people and use money? Or do you use people and love money? Definitely a backwards look at it. So, money is definitely a tool. It's a tool in life to uh, make things happen, to help people, to grow things. Um, kind of like a fertilizer. Money uh, can help stuff grow. Investments can help stuff grow. But at the end of the day, it's the people that matter, not the money. So, all right, today's your message of the day. Let's jump on prayers down here at Bay Park. 
New York. It's 37 degrees. It's quite balmy. And uh, cool reflections on the water this morning. All right. Name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Dear God, help us to realize that uh, we are managers of your assets, and help us to do the right thing every day, and help us to uh, continue to be responsible, and to... Um, Make sure that we are loving people and using money and not the other way around. Um, we thank you for all your blessings. We thank you for all the joy and happiness that you give and all the people that you put in our lives and all the opportunity that comes in front of us. We are grateful. Amen. All right. So we got the message of the day. Go out there and uh, manage God's assets in a proper fashion. Don't waste money. Don't waste time. Love people. Don't love money. All right. So start living like that. And, uh, if you manage the assets you have properly now, God's going to give you more assets to manage. It's that simple. God's going to give you better relationships. God's going to give you more money to work with. Um, but you got to you got to do what you're using now properly. Don't don't waste anything. Don't mismanage anything in your life. All right. So happy Tuesday. I got to get out of here. I got to go take pictures at my newest listing in Malvern. That's a three bedroom, uh, one and a half bath ranch, four ninety nine. Uh, great house for the money. Uh, I believe it's going to go over asking price. But, uh, we'll see when that happens. But a uh, great little house. Anyone's looking for a, uh, a downsized home or a starter home. Uh, nice and clean house. Ready to go. Central air. Uh, full basement. Uh, that'll be coming up uh, this week. So we'll get the pictures back. We'll put that one up. And open house will be uh, probably the first weekend in February on that one. And then uh, my Belmore listing is getting pictures tomorrow, so you'll see that one coming up. We might get an open house this weekend on that one. We'll see if it's ready or not. A um, couple of things in the works. If anyone's looking to buy or sell, you know where to find me. Brian Lewis with the Brian Lewis team at EXP Realty. We are a team of about a dozen agents, and we are here to serve you, help you, get what you uh, get your home sold if you need, find your home if you're buying. Uh, we're here. So let us know. All right, everyone, I appreciate you. Have a great day. Go out there and be a good manager. Fire starts fire. Put your head on a pillow every night knowing you made the world a better place. It's up to us to change the world, guys. Let's do it.